Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC. Welcome to part 6 of my GeForce Twin Mono build. In this episode I'm going to glue the deck and glass the deck. And I'm also going to install the drive line, complete with flex shaft and stinger. So stay tuned. The deck is glued to the hole. I used chopped carbon fiber strands to attach the deck to the hole. Over here you can see what I used. I thickened the carbon fiber strands with epoxy and I applied it all around the edge. And finally, after curing, it became very strong. I also rounded the edges on top of the deck and on the sides. And I will now apply a glass weave, basically from the edge of the opening overhanging from the sides on both ends. And I will use a 110 grams per square meter weave. And on top of that, I will apply a second layer of weave covering the entire deck and the sides of 80 grams per square meter.
I'm really happy how the deck turned out. The gluing with the carbon fiber strands and then double glassing it really adds strength and stiffness to the hull. So uh, yeah, I'm really confident that the hull can take a beating now. Only the drawback is that when I was sanding these sides, I sanded down the carbon fiber a little bit too much here. But I guess I have to cover it with some paint. Installing the first flex shaft, including the liner and the Teflon tube, wasn't so bad. I feared a little bit about bending this brass tube, but it was surprisingly easy. I just bended it by hand and the drive line runs really smooth. I will add a support from the bottom of the hole to the brass tube to give it some more stiffness. I will probably run two 6S LiPos in this boat. One LiPo for each drive line. I think it will reduce the heat, especially in the connectors. And um, overall, I think that's just the better way to go. Only I have to see which LiPos I am going to use. These are 4500 mA 60C LiPos. Probably I'm going to run two 6S 3000 mA LiPos from CNHL. They are a little bit lighter than these because the overall weight of this boat becomes pretty heavy now. Okay, so the boat weighs 1786 grams with the two motors and one drive line. So with these two lipos, the boat weighs already 3.1 kilos without the speed controllers and without the servo. So yeah, I really want to use a little lighter lipos, otherwise the boat mass becomes too high. All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.